had Reese since Reese was one day old. By about probably the second or the third month with him, Reese started to get where he would stiffen up and his eyes would lock. We had taken him to several doctors, but the doctors here in Reading didn't do a lot of dealing with infants with seizures. So we ended up taking him to Sacramento and there they diagnosed Reese as having cerebral palsy. And if Reese had a seizure, what they would do is have the air flight him to Sacramento and you know that your baby is in a crisis and you don't know what's happening with it. I'm the provider for our telemedicine neurology patients, and I've been doing this for the past six plus years. Dr. Chang is our pediatric neurologist at UC Davis who provides the service. So I know the specialist well. Before she can make recommendations, I already know what the next thing she's gonna ask for. So we work like a team. Once she has obtained the history, then I will do the physical exam for her while she is looking at the child. So if we do not have telemedicine neurology at our facility, I worry about missed appointments. Um, it's very hard for families to travel from here to a children's hospital. The closest we send them to is UC Davis. As you know, Sacramento is about two and a half hours, maybe three away. Well, by the time I get reached down there, figure out where I'm going, now I'm tired, I'm exhausted. If Reese's having seizures and I am driving, then we've got a problem. Half the questions that I probably would have asked the doctor, the only thing I'm thinking about now is the long ride home. So if he missed appointments, his seizures would not be in control. With having further seizures, it could damage the brain. It could be a problem. So when you ask me how telemed helps, it's like, this right here is one step that makes it easy for me because Reese is getting the same treatment that he would get if I took him to Sacramento. We're here in Partnership Health Plan region. They provide a grant to support a coordinator role. I really appreciate Partnership doing that. I hope that other Medicaid plans do the same. Delaying access to specialty care is not smart. You know, you will pay, the family will pay, the patients will pay, and the plan and the state will end up paying at some point. God blessed us when he gave us Reese. I know that most people will say that's not a blessing. Yes, it's a blessing. Because what Reese has taught me is he's taught me patience. And that right there is something that I didn't have a lot of. Reese is the love of my life. It's like I don't want anything to ever happen to Reese. I look at telemed as a God blessing for anyone that has a special need child or any child.